Hey guys, uh, today some, we got something interesting. Um, I'm sure you saw this before, but um, this is a Vimos uh, D Mini. Uh, it's a little um, board based on ESP8266. Uh, um, and uh, with this, we also got um, this little uh, cape that goes on top or below it, and it's a, a battery cape. So basically you're gonna plug in the battery and then you can charge it up and this thing can power um, so this little board can power your ESP8266 um, and today we're just gonna put in these headers uh, it comes with variety of headers male headers female headers and long female headers uh, today I'm gonna be using these because it enables me to stack it on um, fairly easy if I want to add um, more functionality to it so it goes straight through and then to the other side so I, so I can sandwich as many capes as I want on top of each other so it goes like something like this um, only thing you gotta watch for is the orientation so the orientation here gotta match the orientation on this board here otherwise if you flip it over or do this one on wrong side um, the pins won't match and you're probably gonna fry the board I'm gonna warm up my soldering iron and in the meantime I'm just gonna stack these uh, uh, thread these pin, uh, headers through the holes I'm just gonna start from the corner right here. You always need a third hand. Okay, that was a little too much, but that doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna secure the other one here. This is a I need to find a solder, but this is all I got right now, so it's gonna be fine. Okay, so that's good. It's gonna, I, I'm gonna fix it up later on. So just wanna make these anchor points. much so now I can go in work on the other ones side
okay, that doesn't look half as bad, so I'm happy with it. Okay, now the other one. Alright, so we're gonna do the same exact process. We're gonna anchor one. Alright, that looks actually good. Alright, so let's do a little test. So basically, I got this salvage battery and... Um, Alright, test time. So I got this salvage battery with me, so I'm just gonna hook it up to... Uh, so I don't have this size of the connector, so... Gonna use these extended extension wires, but I mean, as long as it works. Okay, so this is a positive side, goes to the red wire. Then I got a negative side. I'm going to a black wire. And now. If I take a measurement between the ground and five volts, I should see five volts. So my multimeter is set to 20. So let's see if we're getting anything. So it should be here. Just a little bit careful not to short anything out. And we're getting five volt output, that's awesome. All right, so let's see if the charging is working. Okay, I'm connecting it to my battery bank. And we got a red light. That means it's charging and if I disconnect it, it simulates that it's full basically at that point. And you get a, um, we got a blue light, so that's good. All right, let's disconnect the battery. And let's disconnect the charger. And then let's stack the um, the ESP8266 on it. So as I said, make sure that you align five volts in ground, five volts in ground. Otherwise, you can short something out and burn it out. So this stacks nicely. Is this is why I use the longer leads because I have these testing points as well, and also I can stack them way up. So let's connect the battery again. So again, the black wire goes to negative and then the positive wire goes to positive yeah so we get the blink light every time we restart it I don't have sketch running on it but yeah we're getting um, the power is going to the ESP8266 so that's awesome well guys again thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did, like it. If you didn't, wait for the next one. See you next time and stay creative. Thank you. Bye.